Good morning, everybody. It's great to see you for Morning Devos. Merry Christmas, as we're on the fourth day of Christmas, I think, today. And uh, Pastor Nundorf and I are going to be starting a new series of devotions. We'll be starting in the book of Genesis today. So, uh, well, it's 50 chapters long. And Pastor Nundorf said, okay, you, uh, you can start however you want. You know, you do a bunch or do a little. I'm going to do two verses, Pastor Nundorf. So uh, we'll hopefully get through this book of Genesis uh, <laughs> a little faster than two verses at a time. But uh, these are pretty foundational and important. So we're, we're just going to do two to start us off. And since we're in the season of Christmas and talking about creation... I figured uh, Joy to the World was a, uh, a good hymn to sing this morning. So um, we're, it's hymn number 387 in the Lutheran service book. Let me open up my hymnal so I can sing it along as well. I'm holding my phone today, um, so hopefully it's not too shaky cam for you this morning. All right, we're going to sing Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. No more let sins and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, far as the curse is found, far as the curse is found, far as, far as the curse is found. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love. So this morning, our text is Genesis chapters 1 and chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. The darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. I decided to do this one outside today. It kind of begged to be an outside <laughs> devotion uh, because of uh, uh, talking about creation, right? The things that God has created. And, uh, and this understanding that all of this began by God speaking all things into existence. The, the beginning of, um, of the Bible, right? This is the very, the very first two verses in the Bible. The subject is God. And it sets the, the entire book off, as any good book does, right? You, you get the subject of what's happening early on. And... Uh, and so in Genesis, we get in, in the very beginning, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And so we know the subject of this section is going to be God, but it really shows that the subject of the entire Bible is God and his work and his actions and his care for his creation and his, his, the, the goal of redeeming his creation after what we see in Genesis chapter 3. God is the subject. We get to learn from it and see him and understand him and interact with him and converse with him through these words. Often we like to make ourselves the center of the Bible. We're important. God loves us. But he's the subject of what is happening here and how all this comes into being. And so he created the heavens and the earth. Now when we look at uh, the, this, this phrase, heavens and the earth, 
Um, when we use the word heaven, often uh, we use it to describe like the place where, where God is, up in the sky, above the sky, above space, right, in, in another space um, that, that, uh, where we don't see him. But this idea of heavens and the earth is actually talking about these created things, not where he dwells outside of creation. So the heavens would be the sky and then everything that is past the sky in the, in the cosmos, all right, out in space, these created spaces, and the earth that, that we live in. And, uh, and this, this idea of God creating comes from his speaking. And, uh, and he speaks all things into existence out of, out of nothing, right? So there's nothing that existed first, and then God makes this happen. We get this understanding in, in the echo of Genesis 1-1 in John 1, verses 1 through 3. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Through him... Through the word, Jesus Christ, all things were made and uh, without him was not anything made that was made. Saying everything was made by him. And the book of Hebrews writes about how all these things came into being and God created them to be using nothing that had existed before. And so God makes all things happen. He makes uh, all of the things that we see out around us outside into being and you and me. But before he did the forming and the shaping of that, we get verse 2, the earth was without form. So God had spoken the the heavens and the earth into existence and yet they were they were formless and uh, void without form and void is is the there's a, a lot of different ways you could translate this like empty or, or shapeless but really, it's to say there was no order created out of the creation quite yet. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Here we uh, also get an understanding of God as triune, right? God, God speaks these things into existence. He is the, the creator. Um, God is active in making these things come into being. The Word made flesh was there, one, with the Father, as we read in, in John and the book of Hebrews. And, uh, and then the Spirit of God is there um, in, in the midst of his creation, looking at how he is going to form it and shape it and bring it into what he desires to have as his, first of all, this created space, and then how he's going to fill this space with animals and creatures and things, but then also you and me. God took his time day by day, and we'll look at that a little more tomorrow. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for creating this space, for taking what was chaotic and empty and making it full, for being a God of uh, creative acts, desiring that you would have uh, people with you, a creation that would call you creator, and then also receive all of the blessings of that creation. We ask that you would help us to look around us as, uh, as we see the world that you have made, and then rejoice in this creation for us. Lord, lead us to the day when you make all things new, to that new creation where we rejoice with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.